Got him. I'm on. Oh. Double header here. Here. Hold this one. Enormous mutton. Humongous. Oh my goodness. Humongous mutton. On this episode, my wife and I are going to show you how to catch giant mutton snappers in shallow water. I'm talking 15 pound bruisers in 12 feet of turquoise water, screaming drag. I'm gonna show you what bait to use, how to catch the bait, what tackle we use, and the general area of where we're fishing. On this trip, we left out of Key Largo where we keep our boat, and we went through the intercoastal, out to Tavernier, popped out, and we hit grass areas, patch reefs, shallow, shallow waters where I know in the winter those big mutton snappers are. We worked that Tavernier area all the way to Isla Morada, and in two days, we loaded up on our limits of mutton snappers. I'm not talking little 18 inch mutton snappers. We're talking 15 pounders in 12 feet of water. Stay tuned. We're going to show you everything you need to know to go out there and get you some big muttons. All right, so here we are on East 4th Ave in lovely Hialeah, Florida. <laughs> you don't want to be driving here, a lot of accidents. A lot of fender benders, a lot of people who just got their license. But we're coming to see my buddy Ray Muniz at his bait and tackle store. You guys know I fully support my buddy, one of my best friends, Ray Muniz. That's the address, 490C East 4th Ave, Hialeah, Florida, 33010. We've only been doing YouTube for about 10 months now, but it seems the information has been helpful and we've been entertaining because we're starting to get a lot more fans. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. On Monday. Oh, we got a fan here. We got a fan. All right, let's take you inside. What up, Mooney? Look where you get your Bay of Honda attire. Your Bay of Honda sharking with seaweed attire right here. Captain Jacks, East Hialeah. I love it. All right, so in, I got my iPhone today. No GoPro, no, no, uh, camera, no video camera. In. One second, they're gonna have all my tackle, everything you need for mutton fishing, in one second. Boom, all my tackle was ready. That's why you gotta come here, it's magical. Look, he had it all laid out. Here's the tackle you're gonna need for your shallow water mutton fishing. 6-0 Mustad big gun hooks, removable size three split shots, and 50 pound test monofilament leader. The picture shows fluorocarbon, but we were not using fluorocarbon. They're amazing, Danko. Uh, fillet knives. I like them better than Forstner. I like them better than uh, most fillet knives out right now. Really good fillet knives. Got all my stuff. Oh, I need chum. I need chum. Hold on. In one second, I'll have all the chum stacked up. Boom! My chum was laid out for me and ready to go. So look, we're not yellowtail fishing. We're mun fishing in shallow water. So we're only taking three 25-pound blocks of killer bait chum. Baby. Babe. For Valentine's Day, I have a huge surprise. I hope you like it. I don't want you to get excited. I know you're going to be excited, but I hope you like it. Instead of two dozen roses, instead of diamonds, I have three rods rigged up for muttons, for muttons, for mutton snapper fishing. And I got you some roses too, not 24. Some airhead sour patch. And some stickers. I hope you love it, babe. Mutton's fishing. Mutton fishing! Baby, why does it have another woman's name on it? Amina! <laughs> Who's Amina? Oh, you're in trouble, buddy. <laughs> so in the video, you're going to see this beautiful custom sharkin' with seaweed rod wrapped by Casey Rods. Screaming fighting big mutton snappers on this beautiful Saragossa with 50-pound test braid. And I'm going to show you how we had this rigged in the videos. Our leader here. I don't put the split shot on this side of my main line. I like it over here on my thicker side, our 50 pound test leader. So slide your first one on, squeeze it on. Don't do that at home, use pliers. Don't be like me, look at my barracuda teeth. Slide the next one on. Boom, and that's done. Should look just like this. Three to four feet of monofilament onto your Big gun hook. Let's go down slowly. Yeah. 
Okay, in some of the videos, you're also gonna see another way that we rigged up for the shallow water fishing. And that's what we're using on our conventional so we could cast a little better. We were using what is called a knocker rig. Small little one on sinker or six O hook and the sinker slides right to the hook. I'll show you how we do that right about now. So this is our knocker rig. Believe it or not, those spinners, it doesn't look like it, but we actually were losing some really big muttons and we had to up our gear to heavier conventional. So this is a knocker rig. Our main wind on 50 pound test leader wound on to our 40 pound test braid on a conventional and a small one on sinker that slides to the hook. And one of the last combos that we're using was our Penn Fisher 8500 that my wife was using mainly because it has that little bait run option and this helps her out a lot. And my light tackle guys, you're gonna hate me for this. Our subscribers and fans, you're gonna hate that I do this, but we put straight 40 onto this reel. 40 pound test monofilament, huge overkill for most fishing, but not for reef fishing. And this helps out my wife or anybody who can't really hoist up a fish very fast because that braid will pop real easily on the rocks and that 40 pound mono gives them a little bit of an advantage. You ready, baby? Let's go, let's go. All right, so with my wife having straight mono into her reel and heavy mono 40 pound test, I didn't have to put a leader on her rod or a swivel. We just went straight, 6-0 hook, gave it about three feet, four feet, and put those two, um, what are they called? Split shots. The name, split shots. Put the two size three split shots on it. So just like that, hook a live value, and we'd whip it out way behind the boat for her. And she was doing damage with it. So my wife spotted mullet in my secret spot. We're about to go mutton fishing, but I only have my small net. Hopefully I get lucky. I have Dante's net. Let's go, hopefully we get lucky. Those are too far. They'll come closer. Check over there too. Cool. I'm gonna borrow somebody's boat. I'm gonna get the bucket. All right. Well, that's it. Let's get going. And now we got fresh ones. Let's go. Fire them up. Engine one, engine two. All right. One of the biggest tricks is to always make sure you have plenty of chum. Drop your 25 pound block of killer chum into your chum basket big mesh holes and never 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 pollute we want to make sure we we bring back in more than we take out to the ocean if you see stuff floating around big bottles styrofoam bags pick it up put it on your boat and toss it out when you get back in that's reef got the the rods out flat line it's so shallow oh run got him Got him. Look behind the boat. Yes, mutton too. <laughs> yeah, little mutton right behind the boat on the flat line. We're in the patch race. It's the winter. We have valley who's behind the boat. Yellow tails, and I guess now the muttons are coming up. Look, no sinker. Florida Keys. Try it out. Look, when a fish is this gut hooked, best thing to do, some people disagree. From experience, I've taken out my fair share of hooks. And the best thing to do when a fish is, has that hook deep, deep inside is to cut it off. Somehow they manage, that hook goes into their, oh, there he goes. Since we hadn't tried our shallow spots in eight months, 
We started off with modest expectations, as you see with our tackle, using 12 pound tests and really small hooks. But all of that changed very quickly. I'm scared that the fish that I'm seeing behind the chum yeah. are too big for the line that we're using. Oh, no, I no, think right behind it. I did get that big mangrove. Right it. I did get that big mangrove. Oh, it's a red grouper. Look. Look at that big red grouper. Oh. Shark behind them. Patch trees. We're catching everything. Oh, man. I wish it was grouper season. Oh, look at that big red. Man. Oh, whoa, oh, oh. whoa. Get him on. Get him on. Get him on. Hit the patch trees during grouper season. Catch and release. Be a keeper yellow tail. Let me see. Ooh, that is a keeper. Yeah. 15 incher. Not bad. Good job. You think we got a nice hit? Is it a hit or what? Oh, I'm on. Got him. Got him. Oh, yeah. Woo. Oh, yeah. Get the gap. Oh my god, this place is on fire! Get the gun! Woo! Woo! Oh my god, I love this place! Oh no! Oh, he almost wrapped me! It's a mutton! He's trying to take me in a hole! He's trying to take me in a hole! Woo! Yeah! Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. One down, baby! Woo! Yes! We knew what we came to do, right? Huh, baby? How, how long has it been? Five minutes? Five minutes in our mud hole? Knocker rig on the conventional rod. Follow the steps that I'm showing you, and you're gonna get big mud snappers like this. Got him. I'm on. Double header here. Here. Hold this one. Big boy. Yes. We don't need the gas for this one. This is a big mutton man. I'll be careful. This is a big mutton That's man. where the holes are. The this is a big mutton. Come over the side. Look at the size of this mutton. Look at this patch with mutton. Ooh, look at this patch reef mutton. Watch out. Oh, be careful. Get, get, the, get the gaff. Okay. Look at this patch reef mutton. Let's go. <laughs> oh, it's huge. Woo. It's yeah, huge. I told you we were going to get them, babe. Oh, no. I told you. So this is patch reef fishing at its finest. We're right now in 12 feet of water. And look at the size of this mutton. Let's get a measure on her. This one measures out to, come over here, 23 inches. 23 inch mutton, beautiful mutton for the Florida Keys. This patch reef fishing at its finest. Let's keep her alive in the live well, what do you say? Oh, she's gonna... Here we go. Woo, hoo, 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 hoo. Who just got my, my fish? Oh, it's a big cuda. Oh no. Oh, you oh, got him. It was a grouper. You had a grouper. Oh. Damn, but look what the cuda did to it. Killed him. Look at this, guys. Poor guy. We are in a hot spot. Poor Holy moly. Survival of the beast. Now you got the heavy duty rod. Big yellowtail. It's actually a yellowtail flag. Real. Even a yellowtail on the mutton rod. Oh, yeah. Everything is showing up on the patch trees. That one is 16 and a half. All right, into the mutton hole. Showing the mutton hole. <laughs> the mutton snappers were hitting our fresh mullet, but there's no better bait than live ballyhoo for mutton snapper. So always keep a six foot cast net on your boat for when the ballyhoos get behind the chum slick. To get us fresh ballyhoos, and here we go. All right, we should have some live ballyhoo in there. With the live ballyhoo, we will continue to increase our mutton snapper bite. Let me see, did we do good? Look at the macros, look at the macro following. 
Did you see that macro following? Oh my god. Now I'm gonna catch you guys macro too. Oh man, the fishing is unreal in the winter. Alright, we got live who's Bally who's Bally who's There we go, live bally who's That's prime mutton bait. Prime mutton bait. All right, good. All right, bring your rod up. Bring your rod up. All right, fight him. Wait, wait, wait let me tighten the jack. All right, he's off the hole, real. All you got right now. All you got. Get him away from that hole. All right, good. You got him away from the hole. Good. You got him away from the hole, babe. Hey, that's my girl. Go. Go, go, go. I got your back. I'm coming. I'm coming with the gaff. All right, good, good, good. You're doing good. Keep reeling. Big mutt to him. All right, he's going back. Oh my god, he's huge. Here, here, go this way, go this way, go this way. Go that way, go that way, go that way. All right, all right. All right, watch out. Go, 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 keep going. Keep reeling. He's... All right, keep fighting him. Come over here, come this way, come this way. Huge mutton, baby. Your biggest mutton of your life. Real. Real. Wait a second. Got him! That's my girl! Yeah! Oh! Yeah, babe! Look at that mutton! Who says girls don't catch big fish? I got it on video too. Look guys, just like I told you, split shot, 50 pound test, and look at the size of that mutton. Caught by a female angler. And way back there 40 pound test straight this is the real that you're gonna see mama dukes catching all the muns on today she's up to four so oh she's up to seven four keepers so far i'm just a mate helping her out i tie the hooks and i cut the bait you're welcome oh big one big one real 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 real, real. pump him so he doesn't get you real down pull up Real down. Oh shit, one. Double header real. Get him, babe. You got him? Got him. I'm on two. Oh, double header. This is crazy. This is like the Bahamas. I got mine. I got mine. Look at this, guys. Bananas real. Real. He's going for those rocks, real. You got it, you got it, real. Big mutton, baby. Big mutton, real. Beautiful mutton. You gotta use, let the rod do it. Pull up. Pull up and, wait, 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 wait. Pull up now, real. Pull up. Wait, wait, wait. Real. Big mutton, I'll get him. Got him, babe, let's go! Woo! The bite was so crazy. While we had two fish on the deck, I had to rehook and cast out my wife's rod again fast. Down the boat. That's all it takes. Big mutton fishing, Florida Keys. You're sharking with seaweed. Let's take a picture of these, babe. All right, how big is this one? That's a keeper for sure. Big muttons, babe, you're good. You did great on that one. All right. This one's 23. Oh, oh, too far. 23 inches. Oh, here you go, buddy. Whoa! Oh. From the way this reel's screaming, you can tell it's a monster mutton. And look at that turquoise water in the background. Shark with seaweed rod.
Maybe it's far hooked. Not a shark. It's a oh my be a giant one. Oh my god, don't tell me. Get the gap, babe. No wait, let's see. It's not a shark. Let's get a little closer now. Oh my god. It's a giant mutton, babe. I got the gap. Ginormous mutton. I got the gap. Ginormous mutton. Humongous. Oh my god. Humongous mutton. Oh, it's a big boy. Oh my god. Are you recording? Yes. Here. I got it. Oh my god, here. Get him in the boat. Water, oh please. my god, no. He is around 30 inches. Guys, back home, this is the dream. The dream mutton snapper. Look at this guy. 30 inch mutton snapper. Look at the size of him. Look at the girth. Look at him. Look at this guy. Look at this girth. Oh, I think we have a scale. Hold on. Pounds is on that side. She is a. Let me see. Zoom in. She is 15 pounds. 15 pound mountain, Florida Keys. Ooh, second we see we look at this beauty. Oh, this is why we come out here and with my wife, just me and my wife. Beautiful. Let's show them the other hot one we got. Look, we got another pet. Look at that, folks. Woo! Let me see where's my other buddy at. He's strong still. Live mountains. Look at the size of these. Oh, wow, look at that, huh? So same thing, nothing's changed. Even though we have live values now, we're still doing the same routine. Whoa, that is my net. Get this done quickly. Live value. We're gonna hook this bad boy right up the top lip. 
And what I like to do is to avoid the macros and to make the muns a little interested, give him a little slit on his tail. Give me a little overhead over here. Let him hang over. Same leader, same rig, tip down, and whip him out. Oh, that's mutton candy. That's that's 95%, let's say 97% mutton snapper coming up. Gotta get him out of the hole. All right, all right, go. Tip up, tip up. Put it on, put it right here. There you go. Now real. Tip up. Is that a keeper? I don't know. Look how beautiful they are in the water, you all. All right, that's a keeper, honey. 20 inch mutton, and that's gonna be a keeper. Good catch, babes. Thanks. Give me five. All right, we're, we're rounding out, getting close to our limit now. Here we go. And she's back out. A lot of people are into braid, but when you're fishing over big ledges and rocks, I like heavy mono. It's actually how we always used to fish. We never even used to use braid. But look, heavy, straight 40 into an 8,500 pen. Shimano rod, not an expensive outfit, but it gets the job done. And for a lady like her who's not gonna have that torque or that, that power to horse up a fish really fast and get them out of the rocks, mono's definitely gonna rub over a coral head and, uh, and let you slide more than braid. Cause braid usually it touches and pop, you lost that fish. On a big mullet head, I'm on. Oh, another nurse. Another nurse shark. Come here. Come here, buddy. Come over here, buddy. Later, Gator. So long, sucker. We have so much content for you all. And I'm gonna give you as many pointers as I can on how to land these big mutton snappers in the Florida Keys. Oh, look, we got ballyhoo. Muttons, muttons right there, midwater. I could see at least eight muttons midwater. Some of these muns are eating top, on top of the water. We're casting the ballyhoos, and as they're falling down, they're picking them up. Real! Yeah! Don't give up on him. Your tip into the water. All right, real. Real. Florida Keys fishing. Mountain fishing in the Florida Keys. That's another one. Here we are. Calm down, buddy. And he's a keeper. Another keeper mutton. Oh. Everybody's gonna think I'm a Look at that, we chummed up. Look, look how shallow we are. Monster fish in shallow water. And we got another one on, folks. We got another mutton on, I think. He's biting like a yellowtail, this one. But the reef is on fire. Oh no, he's big. He's a big one. He's a big one. I think it's a grouper. Not, I'll check my uh, camera. This, is a, this one's a grouper. Black grouper. Oh, you did. Oh my God, this spot's been on fire. All right. Beauty. It's the right time to wow. bite the line, buddy. Out of season. Nice black. That would have been a keeper. Bad haul. 15 pound mine. Other big mines. And a beautiful, oh, beautiful black grouper. Let's let her go. All right, baby, get big. Get big. You ready? Kick off when you're ready. Oh, oh, he's regurgitating his meal. Oh, ho, 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 ho. that's when you know the fish was really strong. This was day one with seven beautiful mutton snappers. Oh, this one's big. Oh, oh. Ooh, big boys. Five, six, 
This was day two, Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day, slaughter with my wife. Got some jumbo muttons, five big muttons, some yellow tails, an accidental mackerel. And babe, my wife lost a mutton, guys. I'm not exaggerating. A mutton, maybe three pounds bigger than this one right here. Then this one right here is on the scale in the video, 15 pounds. So imagine one, maybe three, five pounds bigger than that. Like a 20 pound mutton she lost. All right, special delivery, Dante. Thank you, buddy. You're welcome. Dante brought me a delicious margarita made by mommy. Yeah. Since I'm doing all the fish cleaning. Here, Dante, hold this real quick for me, bud. Right here, right there, right down that angle. All right. Let's get into another mutton here. Out the belly, flip it around, work your knife along that backbone. Get your knife in there and let it slide over the backbone. Slide down that backbone. Take a peek. Keep sliding. Take a peek. Dante, throw away that bucket now. Okay. Let's get our big knife. Slide that in and break those rib, ribs with this big knife. That's what the big knife's for. All right. Now that the ribs are broken, we can see what we're doing. Slice it down on an angle. Angle it down, down. And we're done. Beautiful mutton snapper filet. That's how it should look. Okay, put that off to the side. Cut a rib cage out. Flip her around. All right. Now, to finish it off, little incision down the bloodline, because the bones usually, the bones usually end around mid fillet right here. So down the bloodline, make that cut, and your fillet should always look like that. Look at that. Look at that pile of, of food for my family. We're gonna be eating good. Brianna, peeling sweet potatoes for our dish. Mm. Standing by in his station, my neighbor Rob Roy. Rob Roy, what is your job every time we cook? Trace. All right, aluminum tray. <laughs> yes, he, nobody does this better than Rob Roy. Here you go, Bri. Put all those sweet potatoes in there. We're gonna broil those with some olive oil, salt, and pepper. Go ahead, keep it there. Thinly sliced garlic going into a saucepan with olive oil, followed by heavy whipping cream for our dill sauce. All right, broiled Brussels sprouts and sweet potatoes. Hit it with a generous amount of olive oil. That's good. Next. All right. Salt, pepper on each one. Spread it out nice, spread it out, spread it out. Okay. Pepper. All right, next. Okay, pepper. And that's some thyme that we put on it earlier. All right, now I need you to sacrifice those hands and spread it around with your hands. Get in, get in, get in, Bree. My oldest daughter, Bree, is helping out today. Get in, get in. Next one, next one, next. Hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it. Hit it. 
Put some, you know, put some more olive oil on that baby. Generous amounts. We like generous amounts of raw, virgin, extra virgin Italian olive oil. All right, that's good. We're going in. I'm going in the broiler. Back up. Into the broiler now. Broiler 400 degrees. And that's gonna be our broiled veggies. And now add the dill to our cream sauce. All of it. All right, stir it up, Brie. Mmm. And last, we're gonna put the lemon zest. All right, Brie's zesting our lemons for our lemon dill cream sauce. All right, our mutton snapper was drizzled with olive oil, Cajun seasoning, black pepper, salt, and now it's going into the oven at 400 degrees. Broiled. Broiled. 400 degrees, yummy. Okay. Now in goes the lemon zest. I stir it up, breathe. So our broiled vegetables are done. Our sweet potato. Look, we even have some little burnt ends on our Brussels sprouts. Delicious. We have our uh, grilled asparagus. And now we're gonna plate our delicious. Look at that, look at that fish in there. Coming close. Look at that mutton snapper. That snapper's all done. Nice and juicy, 400 degrees. Let's get that mutton snapper done. And let's put some of our lemon dill cream drizzle. Fish. Now I'm gonna put some on my asparagus. Mm. It's almost like a beurre blanc, so you don't want this to be thick cream. You want it to be thin and a little runny. There it is, doesn't that look yummy? I'll tell you how it tastes now. Okay, so our dish is done. Our broiled mutton snapper, broiled sweet potato and Brussels sprouts, and broiled asparagus is done with our lemon, uh, lemon cream dill sauce on top. I'm gonna try this out. We're gonna get back. I've had, I sabotaged the whole family to be around me for the ending of this video, because we're gonna get back to family feud. And I get the taste first, because I'm the head of the household. And you guys gotta wait. But let me give this a, you know what you want? I'll give you a taste too, Dante. Here you go, buddy. You can taste first. Right on. Here you go, buddy. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hold on, let me taste. Let me get some vegetables with it. All right. Let me get some mutton snapper, Ooh. a little sweet potato. He does though. A little Brussels sprout. With my hair in my mouth. Mmm. Look guys, come close. Look how white and flaky that is. Okay, it's delicious. Try this recipe out. This concludes our episode of Shallow Water. Mighty. We have to do the whole thing over again. Why? I'm sorry. We're going to take another take on that. Everybody had me laughing. So this concludes our episode of shallow water mutton snapper fishing. We caught those giant 15 pound mutton snappers. Me and my wife, one after the other, two days in a row. And these are this is the fruit of our labor. It's time for all of us to eat. This concludes another episode of Shark and Wig. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you have any other questions on how to catch these big mun snappers or the dishes that we prepared, just leave me a comment on YouTube. Please, it's very important for us to keep on giving you content like this that you like, share, and subscribe it. Have a wonderful day. Much love to you all. Bye-bye. Talking with.